or visceral ischemia is one of the major problems of India. It is about 70 to 90 percent people of the visceral ischemiasis which are present in one particular state of India, that is Bihar. And this is a major infectious disease in, the, in this part of the world. Um, people become infected with this disease and quite often they do not know that they have the disease until it's too late when the symptoms are, ha have uh, developed. And if they don't seek treatment, they, they will die from this disease. Uh, it's transmitted by a sand fly and and it's 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 100 percent fatal if not treated. Over here I saw that uh, people are dying due to Kalajar. Once they started dying then I thought that it is better to work on that. And there are now tools available to eliminate this disease, to diagnose it and to treat it. And so through the World Health Organization I spend much of my time in these countries uh, delivering these tools and making sure that these uh, diagnostics and, and treatments are available to the people in the outlying villages. My main idea is to, to take care of the patients who are very poor and who can be diagnosed as early as possible. This particular technology will be useful for the other countries who are in the verge of elimination of Kalajar from, apart from India, from Nepal, Bangladesh, or Sudan, or even from Brazil. And quite often people ask me, what is a Canadian doing working on a disease in this part of the world that has nothing to do with Canadians? And I'm always proud to say that Canada really has a commitment in global health to eliminate diseases that can actually be eliminated. This is really something that I think can be achieved. And the contribution of Grand Challenge Canada will be enormous in this.